Hello everyone, this is Yamin and from today we will start a new tutorial series for JavaScript. I will try to show you everything about JavaScript from the very beginning and I will try to make this tutorial series as simple as possible. So in this tutorial we are going to see how we can show alert or how we can print things in JavaScript. So first of all, uh, let me just show you, I just already created a folder over here for JavaScript and the folder is empty right now. And I open the folder using sublime text over here you can see and there is nothing in the folder. So first of all, we'll create index.html inside this JavaScript folder. So let me just say over here index.html, save it, control S and save. So we created index.html inside the folder and let's just keep the HTML basic structure. And here you can see the body part. So inside the body part, we can write our JavaScript code. But for writing JavaScript code, we need to keep this skip tag. Over here you can see, we need to write our JavaScript code inside this skip. And we need to give this skip at the end of our body tag. Okay. So first of all here, let's say we want to show a alert in our browser. So for showing alert, we need to use JavaScript. And, and the code to show the alert, we need to write alert. Just simple. And inside this alert, we can write anything. Let's say this is JavaScript alert. You can write anything inside this double quotation. You can even use single quotation. That's fine as well. And you always need to end it with a semicolon. So right now, if we save it, then let me just go to my JavaScript folder. And here you can see index.html that we just created. So I'll open the file. And over here you can see index.html. And here you can see a alert. It is written over here, this is a JavaScript alert. And if you click OK, here you can see the alert is gone. And there is nothing in the body because we didn't write any HTML code in the body. Let's just say over here H on tag. And let's say here uh, JavaScript, JavaScript tutorial. Let's save it. And let's refresh our browser again. And it will give us the alert. And if you click OK, here you can see it is showing us the text which is javascript tutorial now this is not javascript this is just html tag that we use over here h on tag now let's say you want to print something using javascript so for it what you need to do is that let me just remove this alert in order to print anything in javascript we need to write over here document dot write then two first bracket and will give to double quotation or single single quotation that's fine as well and always end it with a semicolon and let's say over here this is a javascript text if i now save it then if we refresh here here you can see it is showing us the text you can print as much as you want using javascript let me just copy this and paste it here and let's say this is second line second line save it so in javascript in order to print anything we use document dot write so if we now refresh here you can see this is second line and if you want to like show this in different line just like html we can use br tag for creating another line so here after this text we'll give this br tag so if you now save it and refresh here you can see it is in different line so there is one more tag I want to show you and that is console.log console.log So two first bracket, two single quotation or double quotation and indeed with a semicolon. So console.log is also used to print things but this is different than document.write. So let me just write something over here. This is JavaScript. Let's just say console. So right now here we write over here console.log not document dot right so right now if we save it then if we refresh here here we can see uh, we cannot see this line in our browser there is no that line but if we just right click on our browser then go to the inspect option then here at the top you will see a console option over here here you can see console option if we click console here we can see this is a javascript console which we just write over here. So console.log is used in JavaScript as well, but in different cases, we'll show you in the future tutorial. This is just a basic tutorial. So I hope you find this tutorial easy. If there is any question, you can always let me know in the comment section. 
i'll try to reply and if this video was helpful to you then make sure to give a like leave a comment and i really appreciate if you subscribe this channel thanks in for watching i'll see you in the next tutorial